YouTube, what's happening? It is Friday, October 18th, and we got two more baseball games to talk about today. We are moving on to game five between LA and New York, and we're moving on to game four between the Yankees and Cleveland. So we'll go ahead and talk about those games. We'll look at the stats. We'll look at the numbers. We'll look at the odds. We'll look at the props, all the stuff we always look at. So, and then we'll see if we can make some profits. So uh, enough talking. Let's go ahead and jump to that first game right now. All right, so we're going to start off with the Dodgers and Mets because it's the first game on today. Starts at 508 Eastern. We can see, um, well, yesterday I do a little recap. I went two for three in the game. I had the under four in the first five. That was too terrible. That was terrible. But the two props worked out great. The HHRs, those were great. They did their job. So two out of three, that's a profitable, profitable in the game. I will take that anytime. So we have Dodgers. They are currently favored in this one. Seven and a half is your total. Let's look over at the, the numbers. Uh, pop this up. We're going to look at the Dodgers first, and this is just their postseason numbers. That's it. Everything from October on. So we can see how they've been doing recently. So looking at these numbers, uh, you can see Mookie's up to 278. Now look at Mookie just crushing all of a sudden. He was 200 literally two games ago. Otani's at 235. Edmund, Edmund came through yesterday. Clutch 324. Uh, to Hernandez, Buck 88, Smith 156, 286, 259. Uh, Enrique 346 is now the leader. Him and Edmund are the ones carrying the team, but Mookie's starting to show off the star power a little bit, so you can see who's doing that. Let's look at the Mets, see what they've been up to. Uh, Vientos is the only one still carrying the team, he's at 370. Everybody else is at the two. They're below 250. Winkler's at 250, but everyone's below him. So not good. That's why you're down three to one right now because your team isn't doing that well with the bats. So, um, yeah, let's dig into the pitchers a little bit. So we come over here. We see who's pitching. It's Flaherty and Peterson. So let's look a little closer at them, shall we? Flaherty, you're 13-7, 317 ERA, 194 with a 107 whip. Look at your game log. Uh, game against the Mets, you literally went seven innings. Two has... 6K has had a gem. Beautiful outing. You're going to ask me to do it again. Uh, San Diego roughed you up. You can see how many times he's faced New York. He has faced them none outside of the one he just faced. So he saw him one time. He shut him down. Typically, typically the second time the batters and pitchers face each other, the batters have a slight advantage because they've seen the pitches. They've seen the release point. All these things matter. So we'll see if it helps today because it didn't help. <laughs> they didn't do good the first time. And let's see how David Peterson's been doing. Uh, let's do 10-3, 2.9, 101, and 129 whip. Look at the game log. Let can see what he's done. His game against the Doyas, uh, 2.1, four hits, two earned, and two Ks. Not exactly the outing you would want. Uh, other games against the Dodgers this year it was the first game of the season for him, which is May 29th. Five innings, seven hits, two earned again. So he's had two average starts against uh, two outings against the Dodgers. So. Uh, you probably got to lean Flaherty hard just because exactly how this right here. So let's go to props, see what we got. What are we cooking with? So let's open them up and see what we want to do. All right, we got we got a uh, Flaherty open now. We're going to start with him so we can see the numbers. Uh, we'll scroll down so you can see it. We can see a 501 for two. There's not many at bats except for Marte. Marte got 22 at bats with a buck 82. That ain't good. Uh, Winkler's 333 and 18 at bats over four. You can see the numbers. Nothing's really, I mean, just bad numbers standing out. And we've got a couple home runs, so I wouldn't really take any worries with any of this here against righties for the whole year you can see how the mets have been versus righties there's your numbers uh for the props we'll start with outs because that's the first thing you want to know is how long are they going to pitch because if they pitch normal games and you can kind of have an idea but if they start pitching less then also we're going to have issues so uh, as outs have been kind of iffy here in the last few game outings which makes sense it's the playoffs obviously you get quick hooks but for the whole season he's consistent so it's 16 and a half basically if he goes five and two thirds you're going to win so but he went seven last time, but he was on fire last time. So we don't know how long he'll actually go this time. So earn runs is set two and a half the whole year. He went over this number 43% of the time, which means he was under 57% of the time. And his last four out of five were a little rough, but it's zero goose egg his last time out, which, which is important. Strikeouts, we can see he has gone down. He's trending downward on strikeouts. That ain't good. So we're going to leave those alone. We don't like that trend. Uh, hits. Kind of all over the place. 57% of the time, he's given up at least four and a half hits this year. And walks, his walks have gone up. And then uh, we have his, uh, we already looked out. Okay. And I made the statement. I said, I think I think Jack's arm is dead. And he came out and showed me it wasn't. So, <laughs> so we'll see how he responds again this game after going seven beautiful innings. And now we got, we look at Peterson now. 
we got Peterson's numbers here. You can see all the numbers, the information. Uh, Freeman's 278 with two home runs. 600, but it's only five at-bats. 67, three at-bats. Uh, Otani's 286 with no home runs and a .571. It's like, yeah, and Mookie is 250 because he's the one actually starting to heat up. So we can see those numbers as well. Let's look at the numbers and the stats. Strikeout, we don't have outs because we don't know how long Peterson's going to pitch. See, they know. They know what they're doing. Strikeouts, three and a half for the whole year. He's gone over this number 71% of the time, and it has been mostly recently. In the last, what is this, like 15 games, he's gone over 13 to 15, or whatever this number is. Um, it's about 15, yeah. Uh, we'll see, 2024, let's go hits. Three and a half hits, he's gone over, except for the last game against Milwaukee that he actually recorded more than just two innings. Otherwise, it doesn't count it on here because otherwise they consider it like a bullpen, so... But you can see how he's done. Earn runs. He hit one and a half earn runs for him. Obviously, he's not going to pitch nearly as long as Jack is going to pitch. And then walks. So when you got somebody like this, I don't trust. Are they going to go two innings? Are they going to go four innings? We don't know. I like to rely on the bats because we know the bats are probably going to get their normal three, four bats. So let's go to the bats and look at those a little bit. So we got everything here. Let's sort by last five. And what do we have? We have Otani walks. Muncie walks, Alonzo walks are all four out of five. Edmund HRR is 80%. Um, Enrique Hernandez, Kiki Hernandez is 80%. And Muncie is 80% HRR. So I took Edmund yesterday. Beautiful. Edmund is on, Edmund's cooking. He is currently, he's at 324 average for the playoffs. He has 13 bases, eight RBIs, two doubles, 11 hits, and 34 bats. Yeah, I'm going to rock with Edmund again because he's starting to, baseball players are trendy. They, they, they're streaky. They're very streaky. So I'm going to take Edmund in the HRR for sure. Um, do I want to take Enrique? I, mm, mm, I think I'm going to take Mookie. I think I'm going to take Mookie. I know he's down here somewhere. I know he's down he's... Mookie, mm, man, you got to go way down to get some Mookie. You know, way down here. All right, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to, we're going to take it kind of chill today on this one. I want to see what happens. We got walks. I'm not taking a walk, Rob. It's so hard to bet. Hard Rock took away the walks. So it's like I got to hunt offshore to get them. And eh, no, I'm not doing all that. So we're going to take Edmund for this. Muncie, the whole one. Muncie? Uh, 286. 18 total bases and 28 at bats. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> Eight hits, six runs. Muncie and Edmund. If I'm taking those, I'm pretty much taking uh, Dodgers to close out because I think they'll both do it. And do I think the Dodgers close it out today? That's a question with Flaherty pitching. If he has that kind of great game again, let's look at this, the odds again real quick. Dodgers 140. Is Grimace Magic over? Is it going to die today? I think it ends today. I think, yeah. You know what? So we're going to go with. We're going we're gonna to go with the uh, Dodgers. Go ahead and get them a nice week off. Because the World Series start literally a week from today. So we're going to rock with it. I hate it, Mets fans. I hate it for you, but... Hopefully I'm wrong for you because I am going to rock with Muncie, Edmund, and Dodgers money line. Next game. All right, moving on to game two. We got the Yankees and the Guardians. And fun. Yesterday went two and three. Got the Cleveland money line on the walk off. Got one of the two HRs with Rocchio. Juan did hit his, but hey, I guess he's not perfect. I guess whatever. So uh, two for three in this game as well, which made it a nice profitable day in baseball to make up for the hockey losses because there were some there. So <laughs> hey, whatever. Uh, so we look at this. We have it's a fun one. This is an interesting one because a Yankees are one eighteen sure seven and a half sure. The main thing is both pitchers are making their postseason debuts tonight, which is funny because we're almost at the world series because i can just jump to pictures i'll show you we got uh gill going out there for new york and you can see last of what he's done recently and then we have gavin williams going out there so both pitchers are making their postseason debut ain't that fun so a little quirky things in baseball we'll look at the pictures first we're already here then we'll go back over to the batting stats so we see the numbers blah 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 you can see it's been a minute since the one's actually pitched because they haven't pitched the postseason so there are the numbers he faced new york one time 822 at 4.1 Three earned runs, home run. And then uh, Gil has, when was the last time you faced uh, Cleveland? You faced 820, went three innings, three hits, three earned, six walks, six walks. That's crazy. Other than that, that was the only time you faced them. So, yeah, not much information there at all. So let's pop back to the bats. Let's start with Cleveland. This is their, literally their postseason only. We don't care about the regular season anymore. Uh, so we can see who's done what. Let me get on the screen. So Quan's down to 394. Oh, dude, just 
bench him. He's terrible. I kid. Uh, Naylor, Buck 82, Ramirez, 179, Eminem, 179. This three needs to do better. Yeah, they won yesterday, but they need to step. They need to get these in the 200s if they want to actually advance. Uh, 286 for Lance. Uh, Rokio, 407. If his HR is 0 0.05 or 0 0.5 again, I'm taking it again. Uh, Fry, 273, Noel. Uh, Quills, 2125. Nailer, 067. I mean, yeah, the, the stats are terrible, but hey, they won yesterday. That's all that matters. So let's look at the Yankees. Let's look at theirs. Uh, let's get on screen. Yep, Tor is 259. Chisholm forgot how to swing a bat, but I think he's up to, two, to 148 now. Wells, just put the bat down, bro. 077, you have literally two hits and 26 at bats. What are you doing? Uh, Stanton, 308, doing decent. Soto, 292, pretty decent. Verdugo, 250. Judge, th with his nine strikeouts in 23 at bats, buck 74. Hey, but he hit two home runs. That's what matters. Well, yeah, whatever. 286, and then I don't care about the rest. Maybe Rizzo should be playing more with his 429. So let's pop over to the props. So let's we're going to go to the... Uh, let's go to Gavin first. Let's look at his. So this is him versus Yankees history ever. So we have two at bats, one at bat, two, two, one, two, three, two. Nothing really there to look at. Uh, uh, Yankees versus righties all year. This is how they've done versus right-handed pitchers. So you can see the numbers. Nothing really stands out here. Uh, Judge, 326. That stands out a little bit. But other than that, nothing really. So, all right. So look at the props. Earn runs at one and a half. We look at the whole year. This dude has cell phone service numbers. This this straight bars. That's all he has. Uh, I mean, come on. 60% of the time he went over one and a half. Oh, not exactly the best. Is he head to head? He gave up three the one time he faced him. But how many innings is he actually going to face? Because we don't know. I'm assuming he's probably only going to go like two innings before he gets yanked. Before the, and they start leaning on their bullpen again. Strikeouts. Uh, three and a half for the whole year. He went over this number 69. Nice percent of the time. You can see all the numbers. Again, how long is he going to pitch? Uh, hits. Two and a half. Two and a half might be a play. Two and a half feels low. He went over that number 81% of the time. That seems like a low number of hits, doesn't it? That seems really low. He gave up four last time he faced the Yankees. You, you keep Three hits? So either you get, even if you have a good game, you might give up three hits in two innings, maybe. I don't know. Mm, these Yankee bats, mm, maybe. We'll see. And then walks. Dude gives up walks. I mean, if you, he's gone over two walks 81% of the time. But he needs to pitch more innings, most likely. So let's pop over to Gil. Let's look at his history. You see what he has done. Again, not many at-bats. Nothing really there. So not much information. So we'll skip all that. Uh, verse righty. We see what Cleveland's done all year. We see the numbers. There you go. To the props. Outs. We actually have outs for him. So we can see what he could do, what he does. That's his numbers all year. 13 and a half is what they have him targeted at. So what is that? Four and two-thirds? Four and two-thirds. You would hit the over in this. So... Ooh, I mean, yeah, let's let's bring that Yankee bullpen back in. You saw what they did yesterday. <laughs> um, people said, oh, they've been great recently, the last couple weeks of the season. Like, sure, they're still the Yankee bullpen. I wouldn't trust them. They're, I would take the White Sox bullpen over them, so don't care. No, no, can't do it. Sorry. Uh, the Yankees bullpen has burned so many tickets. It could like the, keep the house warm for all winter. Easy. So many tickets. So... I would like Gil to pitch many innings if possible. Look at the strikeouts. We see what he's done all year. Four and a half. Okay, 79%. Okay, cool. Hits, three and a half. There's his hits. He's been giving. He was great to start the season, but then he started giving up more hits. Okay. Earned runs, one and a half. Had a stretch of this awesomeness. Then like a, whoa, what the hell? And then, yeah. Six times. The six was the last time he even pitched. He gave up six to, to Pittsburgh of all teams. Pittsburgh. Oh. And then walks. You see. So, all right, let's go to the bats because I don't like either the pitcher props because it's just so hard right now. So, we got up oh, there. He is Rokio over half HR. It's 150. I don't care because it's 100% in the last five, 80% in the last 10, 75% in the last 20. And guess what? It's going on my list over 0 0.5 HR. It really should be 1.5 by now. But hey, if you want to keep giving me half, I'll take it. And does the man himself just go back to being nothing again? Or do we have like Stan step up? I am not touching. Yeah, I see Judge is 80% in the last. Judge over HRR is only 120. Hmm. Soto walks. Judge, Volpe walks. Soto walks. If they walk Soto again to get the judge, I'm going to laugh my ass off. That was hilarious. And it's 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 very favorite him to get a walk. That is okay. Mm, I don't know. 
Ooh, I don't know who wins this game, to be honest. I think... Mm, I gotta go Quan again. Quan doesn't go back-to-back -back over. That's just that's just not what he does. Quan over 1.5 HRR. And I think I'm just gonna take... Uh, ooh. I almost want to take Stanton. I almost want to take Stanton, too. But the... Uh, nope, nope. We're gonna, we're gonna think... We're gonna say Cleveland wins this one again. And they try to push it to a much longer series. So yeah, we'll take Rokio and Quan, and then we'll take Cleveland again. We're just gonna rock the same place from yesterday. Why not? It worked out yesterday, let's do it again. So Cleveland money line, Rokio, Quan, that's it. So those are all the plays I'm taking. I appreciate you watching, drop a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you're gonna play. Let me know if you don't agree with my plays because sometimes you won't. We're not gonna agree on everything. You should be making your own plays, not just tailing mine blindly. So appreciate you watching. Let's see what we got tomorrow. I'll look at the looking at the schedule. Ooh, let's go to the schedule real quick. Schedule, who we got? Uh, tomorrow Saturday. We have one game. We have New York Cleveland if um yeah, one there, and then if necessary, Sunday will be New York and Dodgers. So yep, appreciate you being here. See you tomorrow. Peace.